Let's start with GTA 3. The bridge is destroyed at the beginning of the game. And closed to traffic. It's pretty much impossible to cross the bridge on foot. Or is it? The bridge can actually be crossed with a simple jump. Done! Claude doesn't get a wanted level upon crossing the bridge. So he's free to explore the city as he wishes. Let's see what happens in Vice City. Vice City also has blocked bridges at the beginning. One would think that the barrier can be bypassed by walking on the edge. But there's an invisible wall. You'll hit an invisible wall if you use cheats as well. We can cross this bridge though. All we need is a big vehicle to get to work. We made it past the first gate. But there's a second gate we need to deal with. But it has an invisible wall as well. But here's the thing. Boat drivers always glitch in these areas. Perfect opportunity to hijack one. And now we can simply sail to the second island. We made it. Illegally crossing the bridge doesn't get you a wanted level, like in GTA 3, so Tommy can explore the city without any trouble. What about San Andreas? San Andreas bridges are also blocked at the beginning of the game. But CJ can swim. Nothing will stop you from simply swimming to the other side. Or you can steal a plane. There you go! There you... <coughs> and fly straight to a locked island. But things are absolutely insane in San Andreas. CJ gets the 4 stars wanted level. And everything goes to shit the moment you land. Time to adjust. Got your fucking mouth! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You killed my son! Unlike previous GTA games, CJ can't explore peacefully if he illegally crosses the borders. Officers will relentlessly chase CJ. <laughs> Police cruisers and choppers will chase you everywhere. Until you drop dead. Let's see what happens in Kunchberg. As you can imagine, Kunchberg also has blocked bridges. Act 1 to 2024. The bridge is guarded by multiple officers and their cruisers. Cops don't shoot right away when Robert tries to cross leave you alone if you go back. Yeah. 
If Robert crosses on foot and refuses to go back, cops lose their minds and start shooting. But what happens if we cross in a vehicle? The easiest way is to use a motorcycle. Poor cops get no time to react. But Robert gets a 6 stars wanted level. Cops and SWAT officers will do everything to stop Robert. The cops are not hard to evade using a vehicle. So you can still explore despite the chase. But eventually, you'll make a mistake. And finally, GTA 5. From the moment you're free to explore in GTA 5, you can go anywhere you want. There are no restrictions whatsoever. Probably due to the fact that GTA 5 doesn't have multiple islands so you're free to explore from the get-go. Thanks for watching.